Hey everybody, it's been a long time since I posted a video, probably over a year, and I want to show you what I have going on here. So, I live in a new house here in beautiful Michigan. It's another beautiful day, and I've got a lot more room here, so I put all this up. This is 48, 445 watt solar panels for a total of, I think it's like 21.3 thousand watts. And uh, I have um, not combiner boxes, what do you call these? DC isolators that can so it's a disconnect that can be turned off from the outside, which is required. Um, I have PVC pipe. All the wires go into the box, come out of the bottom through a separate set of terminals um, that pass through when it's turned on. And that goes down underground, like three feet underground, or it's like two and a half feet. I still haven't finished um, filling in the trench here. Actually, this is really new. As you can see right here, I'm falling in the trench right now. So that goes into my basement. I'll show you the inverter setup later. But let's take a look at this. So right now, I cannot sell back yet. I'm still waiting for my application to be approved. So it's only producing what I need. Well, as you can see, it looks like it's going backwards, but not moving. You see that little indicator right there? One of these screens will show how much power I'm using on the grid. See, I've got the air conditioner, my heat pump running. And uh, I've charged my EV, had the oven on at the same time. And... This said I was using zero. Of course, I was right at the beginning of this huge list of, when I started recording, I was probably at the beginning of, of the rotation of, I don't even know what all this stuff is. Okay, after seeing that, I think it, I think it's right after this. Yeah, what is that point? Oh, so I'm selling back 60 watts. So, which I'm not supposed to sell back any, but the inverter is not perfect. So, yep. Um, that is it for the outside. I'm falling in the trench again. I got to finish that, backfilling that. Um, so, the way I've connected these is eight panels in series, uh, three strings on each rack. So a total of six strings. I wanted to do six panel strings and have, I actually have um, eight conductors going into each one for a total of four strings for each, for each rack. But it turned out that six panels in series wasn't quite enough voltage for the inverter to, to operate. It would turn on and turn off, and turn on and turn off. There's a label on one of the solar panels. Yeah, they're hot. I better clean this up and uh, get some more panels to... The, the, I did have a, a contractor. The only part that I didn't do was put up the racking. I had somebody do this and uh, they overestimated how much I needed for 48 panels. So I need to find this exact one to cover this up. It looks like eight, four more for each rack. So, this one, the combiner box, is on the second post. Same deal here. And the way I have the one wired back here is the four panels on top and four on bottom form the first string. And I do four and four four and four. I do that because this rack is a little further west. I have those trees over to the west and shading becomes an issue 
early so I didn't want to do the strings across eight panels across because then I wanted to like you know keep them as compressed east west wise as I can as power starts to fall off as the sun sets but those I did the same deal on the end I just did four and four but then after these one two three four this the next one right here I go all the way across eight panels and on top all the way across eight panels so it's a weird configuration I had to kind of I just came up with that on the fly when I couldn't do my six panel strings but I'll see you on the inside here we are in the basement there's my main panel and here they are here are the inverters wow I gotta zoom out here so let me So right now I'm pulling in three point almost four kilowatts. It's only running uh, the air, the AC, and uh, actually a space heater. My girlfriend's using a space heater in her room, so I have it too cold. I was just doing some testing, um, but so I'm capable, obviously, of I've had a 21 kilowatt system. Since I can't sell back and I don't have my batteries connected yet. Um, there's nowhere else for the power to go, so it's only producing what I need. As you saw, the meter, I'm gonna show it around zero. It said exporting 50 watts, you know, around there. So it's, it just says the same thing, because these are connected in parallel through these uh, network cables. Yeah, so it's just, I, I had my EV charging and turn the oven on, had the air on, and I had this thing up to like 16,000 watts, and it still wasn't pulling from the grid. <laughs> Let me see that again. Okay. Here's what it looks like inside them. These are the PV wires. Um, these two, so I would have had four strings. As I said, there's only room for four strings, but these two are together, the same MPPT. Um, as you can see right there, PV input one 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 two two three three. Um, so it's kind of let's see. I think these can have up to twenty five amps. Or no, I'm sorry, I can't remember what it was. I think between both of these, you only get twenty five amps. Then each of these is fifteen. I don't know, but it, it's barely enough for what my the current that my solar panels will produce and here's the extra pair that i that i can't use it be it's the same deal inside the other inverter so i don't have to open that um these are what connects them in parallel actually i will because the way that this knows that how much power i'm using and how, so it knows how much power to supply is this black network cable right there i have that or cat five, whatever you want to call it. Have that going into my breaker. I'm not going to open the breaker panel, but there's a CT, there's a clamp that goes on my hot, both of my hots, line one and line two. Um, you got to have it there. You can't have it here because it's monitoring the total power that the house is using. If I had it right here, that would only, that would confuse it. That would, that's just how much power is going to and from the inverter. So, yeah, um, I have the batteries, so I'll show you in a minute. Uh, one of them's not even out of the crate. Both of them are in the crates, and I just opened one of them. I need some help getting those installed because they're like almost 300 pounds each, I believe. Um, so battery breaker off, nothing connected to the lugs for the battery. And then the load breaker, here's the load right here. Um, this is going to be for my critical loads panel. So over here, I'm going to install a smaller right next to this inverter. So I've got my main panel. I'm going to install a small panel and then have, you know, my sump pump, my well pump, my 
air conditioner since I have so much power. I might as well have that on my critical loads. I mean, my heat pump, um, stuff like that. Refrigerator, the circuit that has the refrigerator is all going to go on that. And that's going to connect to the load. So when the power goes out, um, it can still, anything connected to load can still use your solar power and battery power. I've got two batteries that are going to go underneath here. Um, and also, since I built this wall just for this, I thought I'd put an outlet in here, and that is also going to go to the critical loads panel, an outlet that's always on. So pretty cool stuff. Show you what I have going on over here. EG4 lithium batteries, still not out of the crates yet. That crate's not even open yet. Here's how huge the, the power cables are, the, um, the battery cables. I mean, it takes two, two together, two negatives, two positives, just for one battery. And then this battery is gonna have another pair of uh, positives and pair of negatives. I mean, capable of charging and discharging at very high rate. I don't know off the top of my head what it was, but more than enough for for what I use, even when I'm charging my EV. So yeah, this it's going to take a couple people to uh, to get this over under the inverters and to actually stand this up. So that'll be my next project. Hopefully, hopefully this weekend, and I'll have a video on that too. Well, um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and share. And I'm glad to be back. I hope to post a lot more videos in the near future.